Hey guys, welcome back to my water filtration video series. In part one, we went over the water diagram and construction of the system. And in part two, this video, we're gonna go over the installation and operation of the system. So stay tuned and let's get right to it. All right guys, let me get the floor off for you guys. Set this aside. And here's our system. So let me remove my foam cases here, put that aside. And here is our system. Here's my pump. Here's the carbon filter. Here's the UV purifier and all the plumbing. So let me go over the whole system uh, piece by piece. If you haven't uh, seen my first video, uh, I suggest you go over and uh, watch that first. I'll put a link uh, for you guys right up here and as well as in the description below. Uh, I suggest you watch that first because uh, it has all the plumbing diagrams. It'll make this video a little bit better to understand. So going back to this video, here's the pump. I mounted it right over the transmission hump. And if you recall from the first video, the pump takes its water from two sources. And I'm gonna keep referencing the first video and on the inlet side of the pump, you have a T. And this is where the T is right here. And it brings its source from either the tank or uh, in my case, the quote unquote bucket that I used in the diagram earlier. So when it pumps the water, it goes through the pump on the inlet and it brings the pump or the water uh, right through the filter. So this is the 0.5 micron carbon filter that uh, cleans the water. Then it brings the water through the UV purifier and then it goes through the second T as in the diagram. And then it diverts the water in two different directions one here you can see either back into the tank or this section of the T goes up through the Jeep, up through, up over and back to my faucet in the back of the Jeep. So that's the entire installation. Now I'm gonna pause the video here. I'm gonna bring you around the other side of the Jeep and I'll show you how all the valves are installed and we'll show you the system in operation. Okay, let me, uh, guys, let me bring you around the other side of the Jeep and show you how I install the valves. Here's my fill valve. Here's my uh, valve that I use to uh, pull the water out of the tank. Here's the third valve that's necessary and that's the valve that we use to pull water out of the bucket. Valve number four, we use over here that's near the faucet. So as you can see, it's closed. And then we have the faucet, of course, back here. So next we're going to uh, configure the valves and we're gonna start pumping water uh, out of the bucket. So in order to do so, we have to open the valve so we can pull water out of the bucket. We have to close the valve, pulling water out of the uh, tank. So now, going referring back to our diagram, as you can see here, bring my cameraman over. This hose will go into our T. As you can see, this hose here also goes back to our tank. This, this valve is closed, so 
So we will not pull water out of our tank, but it will pull water out of our bucket. That's gonna go into our pump, out of our pump, through our filter system, into our second T, and then it'll go out of our T and into our tank. The valve in the back near our faucet was closed, as you saw earlier. So now all we have to do is turn the pump on, and if you can look at the bucket. So now water is going through our hose. And if you can see, I do have a pre-filter installed. So if we are running water uh, from a uh, stream or uh, any other kind of uh, uh, lake or anything, this will, is a pre-filter, it'll catch any larger debris or anything like that. So as you can hear, now the water is filling the tank. Also, if you can direct uh, the filter, if you can see the, the two lights on the filter. The green light indicates that the filter has power. The blue light indicates that the UV is doing its thing. Also, you might notice the round set of lights that are sitting in the back. So when I was doing my lighting project um, on the roof, I, I, had, I, I had an extra roll of lights laying around, so I didn't know what to do with it, so that was left over. So uh, what I was thinking of, uh, <clears throat> I didn't have everything to do with it, so I just hooked it up, and in order to indicate a uh, water level, it was kind of hard to see. So, whoop, water bucket came out. So, it was kind of hard to see the water level uh, on the tank. So I threw the light in the back and uh, hooked up a switch to it. And check this out. So I threw a light in the back. So now it's so much easier to see the water level on the tank. So it's especially uh, easier to see uh, with the floor back in. So, all right, we're gonna pause the video. Let me fill up the tank and we'll be right back. Okay, so now that we have our tank filled, so we went through mode number one. So now let me show you a uh, mode number two, which is the recirculation mode, going back to our original diagram. So all we have to do is turn off this valve and turn on this valve. So as you can see, all we did is change the source of the water that the pump is gonna pump through. So now instead of taking uh, water out of the bucket, the pump is gonna take the water out of the tank. So now all the pump is doing is gonna take the water out of the tank run it through the filter, and then back into the tank. Now, why would you want to do this? Um, basically for peace of mind, should you have some water originally uh, taken from a pond, let's say, that has a lot of algae in it, or uh, a questionable source, and you just wanted peace of mind, and you wanted to filter it a second time, well, this is a way to do that. I'm just simply showing you a way that you can filter it uh, for a second time. So simply by changing the source that the filter will take its water. So there's really no need to uh, run the pump again, but this is a way you can do it. So again, change the source that the uh, pump pumps the water. Turn the valve on on the bottom and turn the, turn the valve off here. So that's uh, uh, meta, That's the uh, uh, second mode. The third mode, which we'll call the use mode, and all we have to do is divert the water on the outlet side of the filter. So here we keep the source mode the same. So we keep this valve open 
So now we're pulling water out of the tank. Okay, the water will go through the pump, through the filter. So now, instead of going into the tank, we want to turn that valve off. So now where's the water going to go? It's not going to go here, but instead, it's going to go into the back of the Jeep. So it's going to go down this line. So we want to turn this valve on. So it's now going to go into our faucet. So what I have hooked up here is basically our faucet. So we can use a bucket, a cup, or what have you. And then I have a short hose along with this. And we'll take our original bucket so we can catch the water. Here, as I mentioned earlier, I have a method to turn my pump on from back here, which makes it super convenient. And we turn our water on. And there we have it. So now we have fresh, clean drinking water that's been filtered not once, but at the very minimum, twice. If you, if you cleaned your water, uh, recirculated it, then it uh, has been cleaned three times. So, I don't know if you can hear, but the pump has now turned off, even though the switch is, is still on. The pump has a pressure switch on it, so which senses the pressure uh, on the upside of the uh, pump so um, it will turn itself off if there's a if it senses an increase in pressure so the reason why I keep the I put a, a switch on it is simply for a uh, safety's sakes so this way if there's a ever a leak in the system uh, with the pump turned off it will only leak the amount of water that's in the hose. The, the, pump, the pump will not continue to uh, run until the tank is empty. So by simply turning off the pump, uh, I don't have to worry about uh, any kind of leaks in the line anyways. So, all right, so that's number mode number three. And let me give you uh, a little scenario of a, uh, a recirculating shower mode, uh, which is uh, my uh, mode number four. So let me reconfigure the system and I'll be right back to you. All right guys, so here's my proof of concept recirculating shower system. So after using the use mode uh, valve setup, you fill up your uh, shower pan with uh, fresh clean water. So all you have to do is, again, reconfigure the valves. So we want to stop using the water out of the uh, storage tank simply by turning that valve off. You wanna start taking water out of the shower pan, so you wanna turn that on. So what that's gonna do is gonna take the water out of the shower pan run it through the pump, through the filter, and then back to my faucet in the back. So let's walk over here. Now again, here will be my shower tent. Okay, let me walk over to this side. Here's my Theor theoretical a shower head and again this is not a five a five star hotel so as you can see this this setup here will be my shower head the water will be pulled out of the shower pan from this hose so as you can tell the water will be pulled out of the shower pan run through the pump 
through the filter and back out this hose. So I have to rig up another valve here with the shower head. So I'm going to temporarily put that in here while I run over and turn the valve on my faucet before I run water all over the garage. So as you can see, water is getting pulled out of the bucket, getting filtered. After pressure builds and all the air bubbles come out, I'll show you how, how much pressure we got. So the whole system is being pressurized, so so water's coming out of the pan, cleaned, and back into the pan. So again, this is uh, this is not a five-star hotel, but certainly adequate to get yourself clean out in the back country. Wet yourself down, soak yourself off, and then rinse yourself off. This is plenty fine. As you can see, two or three people can get themselves clean on uh, two gallons of water. Okay, there you go. There's my water system. If you have any comments, please leave those below. I'd love to hear from you. My next video series, it's gonna be my battery and solar system. Make sure you uh, hit the bell notification so you don't miss those. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.